Uh, we are going to do basic data analysis on the BRICS nations. BRICS is an acronym for uh, Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa. It was formed in 2001 by economist Jim O'Neill of Goldman Sachs to represent um, uh, the emerging economies that had a significant share of the world's production and population. Uh, BRICS countries are challenging the Western-led world order by increasing their cooperation in areas such as the trade, finance, health, uh, education, science, technology and security. BRICS countries uh, account for about 42% of the world population, 23% uh, of the global GDP and 17% of the world trade. Uh, uh, some examples of BRICS cooperation are the establishment of the new development bank and the contingent reserve arrangement CRA to support infrastructure and sustainable development projects and provide liquidity support to member countries. Uh, the launch of the BRICS Vaccine Research and Development Center to promote joint research and development of vaccines for diseases of, disease of common interest. The adoption of the strategy for BRICS, uh, BRICS Economics Partnership 2025 to enhance trade and investment cooperation, uh, foster digital transformation, uh, strengthen energy security and promote sustainable development. First, we'll compare the population criteria. Although the BRICS, BRICS countries are considered the five foremost emerging economies, they are all at um, various uh, stages of the demographic uh, transition and have different levels of population development. For all of modern history, China has had the world's largest population but rapidly dropping fertility and birth rates in recent decades. Mean that its population growth has slowed. Uh, in contrast, India's population growth remains much higher and it is expected to overtake China in the next few years to become the world, world's most populous country. The fastest growing population in the BRICS block, um, however, uh, is that of South Africa, which is at the earliest stage of demographic development. Russia is the only BRICS country whose population is currently in decline and it has been experiencing a consistent natural decline for most of the past three decades. Uh, go, uh, another viewpoint we can get it here that uh, growing population is equal to uh, growing opportunities. Between 2000 and 2026, the populations of the BRICS countries is expected to grow by 625 million people and the majority of this will be in India and China. As the economies of these two countries grow, so to do living standards and disposable income. Uh, this has resulted in the world's two most populous countries emerging as uh, two of the most profitable markets in the world. Uh, China, sometimes called the world's factory, has seen a rapid growth in its middle class, increased potential of its low tire market and its manufacturing sector is now transitioning to the production of more technologically advanced and high-end goods uh, to meet its domestic demand. Uh, now we will see the GDP comparison. It is predicted that China's GDP will overtake that of US by the end of the 2020s uh, to become the largest economy in the world, while some also estimate that India will also overtake the US around the middle of the century. Additionally, the BRICS group is more than just an economic or trading block and its new development bank was established in 2014 to invest in sustainable infrastructure and renewable energy across the globe. While relations between its members were often strained or of less significance in the 20th century, their current initiative have given them a much greater international influence. The traditional great powers represented the group of seven have seen G7, it is called G7, seen their international power when in recent decades while BRICS countries have seen their growth, uh, especially on a regional level. Today, the original BRICS countries combine with the group of seven G7 to make up and to make up 11 of the world's 12 largest economies. Uh, but it is predicted that they will move further up on this list in the, in the coming decades. Over the past two decades, the world had witnessed a profound shift in the global economic and geopolitical landscape as the rise of the BRICS nation has introduced a growing counterweight to the traditional dominance of the G7. Starting on Tuesday, leaders of Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa are meeting in Johannesburg. 
South Africa for the 15th annual BRICS summit. With the blocks possible expansion, one of the talking points on high on the agenda. For a long time, the G7 consisting of the United States, Canada, United Kingdom, Germany, France, Italy and Japan has held sway over global economic governance and decision making. However, as the BRICS nations experienced rapid economic growth and development, their collective influence and ambitions began to grow. China's spe spectacular economic ascent in, uh, particular, in particular has reshaped global trade, investment and supply chains. The country's manufacturing prowess, massive consumer market and innovation-driven growth have properly turned to the forefront of the global economy. While India is still a couple of steps behind, its massive population and bustling tech industry position, uh, tech industry position it well to become the bloc's second economic superpower. Meanwhile, Russia, Brazil and South Africa have fallen short of expectations with their share of global GDP at purchasing power parity actually declining over the past two decades. Despite the aforementioned three falling, failing to pull their expected weight, the five BRICS nations surpassed the G7 in terms of their combined GDP in 2020. That is when measured at purchasing power parity that is adjusted for differences in buying power. According to the IMF, the bloc will collectively account for 32.1% of global GDP this year. That's up from just 16.9% in 1995 and more than the G7 share of 29.9%.